Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been forever. It's been like a month since I've uploaded on my channel. And trust me when I say I've tried. I kid you not, since the last time that I uploaded, I've probably tried to film a video a good four times and I didn't like any of them. So can't say that I didn't try. We do have a lot to talk about in this video, like a lot, kind of. I wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me using all Maybelline products with all the goodies that I got so I will be using mostly Maybelline products I do already have an eye already done only because I tried to film this video like two days ago and doing everything and coming up with a makeup look and talking at the same time just was not working for me it was a hot mess I would lose my train of thought trying to figure out what to do with my eyes so I decided to just do one eye off camera so I can do the other one just talking to you guys and letting you know everything that basically happened. Now basically to get started, where have I been? So basically the month of September has been so hectic you guys, so so hectic you have no idea. Well before we get started let me pick up this hair because I can't do my makeup with my hair in my face so let's do something about that. Okay so yeah the month of September. So the month of September, basically, <coughs> so basically how every, how many times have I said basically already? So how I started September was amazing. The first week of September, the first day of September, I think. First week of September, I actually went to Columbia with my family. We were supposed to be there for like almost two weeks, but we had to cut the trip in half due to Hurricane Irma. I'm sure you guys have heard a whole bunch of things about it. That's where I was the first week of September and it was all hectic and that was actually the same week that I found out that I won the contest. If you guys don't follow me on my social media links, does that make any sense? If you guys don't follow me on my social media, um, then you guys probably wouldn't know, but you do now because obviously the title of the video. But I did win a contest with Maybelline to film a video to film a video with Nikki Tutorials. Yes, Nikki Tutorials, the Nikki Tutorials. Actually, let me get started so we can get the ball rolling. So I already did my brows off camera. I did have a Maybelline brow product, but it wasn't my shade. It was more towards like a light brown, and my eyebrow, my eyebrows are like black basically. So I did do that off camera, and now what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to highlight my brow bone just a little bit with the Brow Precise Illuminator Perfection. What? That doesn't sound right. Brow Precise Illuminator Perfection. Whatever, that's what it's called. So I am just going to highlight my brow bone a little bit just to keep it, give it that really clean brow look. So yeah, I was in Colombia when I found out that I won the contest. Now if you guys also don't know, the contest was a video entry. Oh fuck, I fucked up. You see, this is why, I don't know how some people can do their makeup and talk at the same time. Like, I, I cannot do it. There we go, we're getting somewhere. So yeah, the contest was a video entry contest of one minute of doing your best liner look, like best eyeliner look. So the week before I left to Colombia, that was the week, the last week that I uploaded, that entire week, I remember I uploaded twice the week before, and then the week before I left to Colombia, I was practicing my look for the Maybelline contest. Every I bought so many things, you guys, so many things that I didn't even use, and I basically just wanted to practice as many looks as I can. Okay. Basically, I wanted to just practice so many looks because I wanted to win this so bad so 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 bad I did try to film other videos of course but none of them were working out because I don't know I just didn't like it and I was just too focused on my Columbia trip like getting ready for it and also thinking of looks that I can do for my entry for the contest I basically just told myself you know what I uploaded two times this week let me just practice the look because that's really what's important right now. The ending of the contest was the day that I left to Colombia, so I obviously had to get that done before I left. Oh my god, and I'm sick too. Oh, hold on, wait, bro, you gotta work with me here. So I decided to focus on my video entry and really focus on getting it edited, and I wanted it to look super dope. So I worked really hard on that. I took I actually filmed it one day. I tried to film it one day and I was just having a bad day. It wasn't working out and I wasn't too happy with it. And then I decided 
to do it again the next day so I had practiced like three different looks so yeah it took me like a week to do my video entry with trial and error and then once I edited it I literally finished the day before I left to Colombia and I was supposed to vlog my Colombia trip too but not only did we have to cut my trip short but I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. I just got into this weird funk and I just didn't feel like vlogging. So yeah, I just concealed the rest of my eyes just to get it prepped and primed for eyeshadow. And I used my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in medium. And then I'm just going to now set that with some translucent powder. So I'm gonna try to speed this. I'm gonna try to speed this up because I'm sure you guys wanna know about my trip with Maybelline and filming with Nikki tutorials. So I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can. But just to kind of update you guys on what I was doing. So this was around the time where Irma was supposed to be one of the strongest hurricane, like stronger than Hurricane Andrew that hit Florida <coughs> a while back and it was like a catastrophe. So they were saying that it was gonna be worse than Andrew, that it was starting to become stronger than a category five hurricane and we were out of the country. And the only people who were taking care of our house was my brother and my grandmother. So obviously no one's <laughs> You know what's ready for, for a hurricane like that, especially a older woman and my younger brother. So that already had us stressed out and we were like, yeah, we have to come home. That day that we were actually going to leave, we had to cancel all of our reservations because we still had like another four or five days in Colombia. It was so sad. <laughs> so I was, can I was canceling a reservation. My dad was, my mom was, it was crazy. And I remember that morning, I was constantly checking my phone and I tried to sleep as much as I can that morning because I knew that was the morning that I would find out if I won the contest or not, the Maybelline contest. So I would wake up, check my phone, I wouldn't get anything, I'd go back to sleep. So I'm like, whatever, like, I was already starting to say, like, I didn't win, it's okay, there was a lot of entries, a lot of really cool entries. So I was like, you know what, it's okay, like, I'll win another contest, like, it was already starting to hit me and if you guys also didn't know i did enter a contest with another brand i won't say which one and i'm not going to bash it either as much as i really want to but i won't <laughs> so we all know which contest that is so. so i remember i entered that contest and that contest long story short it was basically rigged it was all based on followers not necessarily on what you wrote and how you felt about it and the passion that you have for whatever it was that we wrote for you guys know i wrote a lot and i was really passionate about it like i remember crying and like typing when i was writing for my entry so i was really passionate about it to then find out that it was like rigged and ridiculous when you find out that you lose because it was because of a follower count it's kind of like kind of i don't know it like unmotivates you. I can't find the right word right now. So then I remember I was like crying and stuff. I remember I went to my mom. I'll never forget this day. I went into the kitchen and I was like, mom, this contest wasn't for me. I'm going to win a better contest. Like this is only one door closed. This means like a million more are going to open. I was like, another contest is going to come and I'm going to win it. This one wasn't it for me. There'll be a 10 times better one. And boom. Then I decided to just leave my phone on the side. I was so sick of checking my phone. I was so sick of it. Like, oh, by the way, guys, before I keep on going, I just... Set my lid with this color right here, which is like a peach -y color, this one right here. And this is the City Mini Palette in Downtown Sunrise. Okay, so before I keep on with my story, again, I'm gonna go into my other sh shitty, shitty, <laughs> in my other City Mini Palette. Um, and this was in collaboration with Shayla, Makeup by Shayla. And I'm going to take this reddish brown color with a, with a Morphe M503 brush. Sorry if I sound a little weird, I'm a little sick. I'm going to take this reddish brown color and I'm just going to basically put that all under my crease. Not directly on my crease, just a little under just so we can start building up that color. So yeah, basically to keep on going. I went to the bathroom, I took a shower and then I came out and I went to go check my phone and all I saw was like, it was like three notifications completely. Like all I saw was Maybelline, 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 and I kind of freaked the fuck out. Like I froze, and I read their. They DM'd me. I'll I'll leave um screenshots right here so you guys can see. Like I didn't necessarily get to really like it didn't really hit me because there were so many things going on because of the storm. Right after that, we found out that we can come home early, and that same day that I found out that I won, I was actually coming back home. That sa the same day that we were flying back, there was a shooting at the airport. There was a super destructive. Um, earthquake in Mexico. I never had the time to like sit down and be like, 
I won a Maybelline contest. Like, I'm going to New York to film in Nikki tutorials. Oh, yeah. And then after the storm passed, I'm so out of whack. So, so out of whack. I don't know. But something happened. <laughs> Again, I'm blabbing on. And then the day started counting down where my trip to New York was coming. Also, I've never been to New York, you guys. So that was cool. And the time was coming. And I got my itinerary. And I think when I got my itinerary, that's when it, like, hit me. Because I saw that I was going to film on my birthday. I'm going to go in with this shimmer, kind of shimmery kind of matte cranberry shade in the City Mini X Shayla palette. And I'm just going to place that on my outer corner with a Morphe M519. So fast forwarding, I went, my trip was a day. I left Tuesday morning and came back Wednesday night on my birthday. So the trip was really quick, but when I got back home, to Miami, I was like, I feel like I was in New York for like four days because we did so much. When we got to New York, I we stayed, I went with my mom because I can't travel alone. I cannot travel alone, guys. I can't. I'm a baby. Maybelline did pay for everything, did pay for my plane, for my stay, um, for any travel accommodations. So that was amazing to have like even if it was such a short amount of time, like it was still amazing to get like my trip paid for. Like I was like, okay. Thank you, Maybelline. We get there to the Stewart Hotel. We check in. I was also with one of the other girls that won. Her name is Gabriella, and she is from Miami as well. So we had the same plane. We were on. I was on a group chat with her, and another girl that won too. I. Oh no, guys. I also did do my because for the video with Maybelline, we couldn't. Um, put on false eyelashes even though when I got on set with Nikki she already had false eyelashes on so I was I was, I was kind of mad at that because I was like I have no eyelashes and she had eyelashes but that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay like eyelashes to me are such a big deal so that kind of sucked and then the night before I'm like I can't wear eyelashes okay but they said we can wear like individual lashes and stuff like that so I did my own individual lashes the night before and they came out beautiful 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 I think I'm gonna do a DIY video on how to do them because um, it's not that hard. You just have to kind of get the hang of it, but uh, that's not the story here today. So I did my own individual eyelashes, and I love them. And on the plane, I just started to get ang anxious, and I have really, and I have really sensitive eyes. So they were picking at them. My eyes were getting watery, and I had so much makeup on it. So I decided to take off all my makeup with wet ones, which was so bad for my skin, and take off my individual eyelash extensions that I did myself, literally less than 24 hours before I left. It was crazy. It was ridiculous and it hurt so much. So the night before I was so happy that we got to we had a whole day to kind of relax, enjoy before I filmed the next day. So that was absolutely amazing. And we went to Times Square. It was my first time in Times Square and it was really exciting for me because I couldn't believe that I was with such a big makeup brand and going to film with Nikki, tu Nikki tutorials on my birthday the next day and I was just there just watching everything like I'm in New York right now. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and this is in the shade Honey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my crease only halfway, not all the way. And I'm going to be using, this is a Michaels brush. This is a craft store brush. This is like basically a paint brush. Um, I saw Desi talk about it in one of her videos and I purchased it so you guys can see like the, the tip of it. It's so good for eyeliner and cut creases and then I'll be right back because I cannot talk I cannot talk and do my I can barely talk and do my makeup at the same time and I definitely cannot cut my crease talk at the same time so I will be right back just give me a second I'll be right back I'm just gonna let that kind of like set on itself set by itself for a second and then I'm gonna go in with um, some translucent powder and then the shimmery shade until then I'm just going to keep on blabbing about my trip that was that. That was my day before the actual filming. And then <clears throat> I also went to a friend's house as well. So I hung out there and then it hit 12 o'clock and it was my birthday. And then I got really emotional. I started to cry and then I went to sleep. <laughs> and then when I woke up, um, I got woken up to, I've always wanted like the number balloons, as stupid as that sounds. I've always, always wanted those. So when I woke up, my mom had, um, 23 balloons, not 23 balloons, like the two and the three, because I did turn 23, I know, I'm getting old. Yeah. And then it started to get a little late, because I got stressed out, because this shirt that I was originally supposed to wear, got I saw that it was stained, 
I left it at the hotel. I remember I was so sad because we had to leave my balloons because my mom obviously wanted to take them to the studio, but I was, you know when you're so stressed out that like everything starts to kind of like get you nervous and I was like, are you crazy? I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not about to show up at the YouTube studios with balloons, kind of like showing up like a diva, you know, like it's my birthday, like no. And I felt really bad leaving them there, but um, we did, <laughs> it was so sad. Then we got into our lift, our lift got a little lost. But we got to where we had to be, which was called the Chelsea Market. The YouTube Studios was at a place named Chelsea Market, which was the cutest place ever. Like, you walk in and you honestly did not expect it to be like that. And it's like a whole bunch of restaurants and little stores. And we were told to find the coffee shop. I think it was called, like, Ninth Avenue Coffee Shop. I don't know what the fuck it was called. It was called something like that. And that's what we were told. So they're like, look for that coffee shop and then directly it Next to it is the YouTube elevator to take you up to the YouTube studios. I was getting stressed out. We couldn't find this fucking place. And I was like, okay, I'm fucked. So wait, hold on before I go on. So then I'm gonna go back into the downtown Sunrise City Mini Palette and I'm gonna take this shimmery shade. So I'm gonna take this shimmer shade right here and I'm going to put that all over my cut crease. So we walked all over looking for that damn coffee shop and we couldn't find the coffee shop. Finally, I don't know what it was. I decided to kind of take a break for a second. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take a break because I was starting to get really overwhelmed and really nervous. Since I got really, really nervous, I stopped and then I looked and I see a t-shirt that says Ninth Avenue Coffee Shop, whatever, I, I forgot what it was called. And then I, I look to my side and then I see the elevator and it says YouTube. And I think that's where everything just kind of like hit me. And I'm like, you what? YouTube, okay. And then I, it was time to do my hair and nails. The girl who did my nails was her Instagram is the nail mom. She is so talented and everybody made me feel so special because everyone was like, oh my God, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. So she did my nails, I'll show you guys. Okay, so here are the nails that she did. I already had my nails done, but I only had a nude color because I didn't know how everything was gonna work out. So she put out like a little shimmer and then some rhinestones. So now I'm gonna um, do a wing. And I'm going to be using my deck of Scarlet liquid eyeliner because in my goodie bag I didn't get an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner for Maybelline, so I kind of have to use this one. So once when I finished, I went and I sat back down in the other little room, and then I just hear someone say something, and then hear someone say something. <laughs> okay, Michelle. So then I look to the side, and here comes Nikki. So I look up, and she's like, "Hey!" As if I've known her for years, as if like I knew her. She's like, "Oh my God, hey!" And I'm like, ah. And yeah, guys, she is a regular person like all of us. <laughs> she's not a diva. She's not, she's the exact same person she is on camera and everywhere else. She is such a sweetheart and she's so nice. One thing is though, she can drink caffeine. Holy shit. She's already hyper as it is, but I kid you not, the entire time that I was there, I think she drank like a few Red Bulls, coffee. I was like, this girl, how can this girl not have a heart attack? <laughs> like I was shook. Like me personally, I can't have a lot of caffeine because I'll have like anxiety and stuff. Plus my personality is already enough as it is. And I don't need a lot of caffeine to, to get me through the day. Like I, <laughs> hold on guys, I'll be right back. Let me finish this eyeliner because then I'm gonna fuck it up and then I'm not gonna be able to upload this and then it's gonna be a mess. So, ya vengo. And to prime my face, I'll be using the Master Prime Primer in Blur and Illuminate, number 200. This is one of their new products. Sorry if I have the mirror burning here, guys. But honestly, I really don't feel like um, holding a mirror in front of me. As you guys know, when I color correct, I use my LA Girl Orange Corrector. And I don't know, I've been kind of keeping my distance from it because it's starting to become really drying on my skin and I don't really like it so um, I didn't know what other color corrector I can get that's affordable also because that one is really affordable so when I saw this and the tone this is supposed to be for a little darker skin tone people than me um, I believe there's one that's under this one that's more of like an orangey peach but obviously this one was the only one there and I had to color correct and I was like Whose is this? And I asked everyone around me and it was nobody, so I was like, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna use it. And I absolutely loved it. If you're like me, I have some hyperpigmentation 
right here around my mouth. Like right, right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? Well, I'm going to put a little bit, and this is perfect, you guys. It's so good. So I'm just going to put some dots around here. I'm gonna go back in with my Adri Wine Concealer and put this on top of my color correct because again, I like to have a base before I put on my foundation so it comes out more even and smoother. So I'm just gonna put that around town here. A little bit under my eyes. We can cover that up to prep for foundation. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, now it's time for foundation. For foundation, I'll be using my Matte and Poreless foundation in the shade 335 Classic Tan. This was in my goodie bag. Mind you, they never matched me. They never checked. No, 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 no. They just kind of put it in my bag. And please tell me how they perfectly matched me. <gasps> Wait, I think I got the wrong one. I did. <gasps> I was kidding. My shade is actually 312 Golden. The one that I just put put on is the shade that I use to bronze and contour and liquid contour so I'll be right back let me take the shit off because <sighs> my mistake and then I'm going to use my Morphe E7 brush to kind of buff that all around the skin now you guys can see the match like the perfect match and now to conceal I'll be using my Maybelline fit me concealer in medium ah. and then to set my under eyes and bake I'm going to be using my fit me loose powder and this is in number 10 fair so I'm just going to put that on my under eye circles and let that set so I'm going to go back into the Shayla and Maybelline City Mini Palette and I'm going to go back in with the burgundy shade that we used on our outer third of our eye and I'm just going to use that on my lower lash line to smoke it out and also if I can find it I'm going to go back in with the black eyeliner and tight line my waterline. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyeliner brush and use the black in the palette. I'm going to just put that on my lower lash line, just kind of really, really close to my waterline, just to darken it up and connect the winged eyeliner. Oh my god, guys, and to be honest, I pictured something so different for what I was going to do on the video. I know for a fact like I'm not gonna I'm gonna cringe the entire time I watch the video and I'm sure that my mom is my mom said that it went perfect and I looked fine but I don't know I'm 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 not gonna like it. My nerves kinda got to me and I did fuck up at some point, but they're like it's fine, don't worry about it, like just show them how you fix it. So I did fuck up in the video and I did show you guys how to fix it. But still, like I didn't want to mess up. And since we were running so late, because me and Nikki couldn't stop like messing around. I couldn't do half of the things that I wanted on my makeup, so well, that's that. I, I literally feel my mustache sweating. I literally feel it sweating. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's so hot in my garage. My mustache was starting to sweat, so now I have to keep this on my face. Whatever. And then since I don't have a blush either, look at this. <laughs> Oh, I do, I do have a blush. I will be using the Fit Me Blush in Peach. And for highlights, I will be using my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlights in Molten Gold. You guys know I've been loving this lately and most of my pictures on Instagram, this is the highlight that I'm wearing. It's so beautiful. And yeah, guys, that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely a little difficult for me to talk and do my makeup at the same time, but I hope I got all my points across about my trip. It just went by so fast. 
that I never had the time to actually like let it all sink in until I got on the plane on the way back to Miami where I just started to bawl crying because I couldn't believe that I got to where I was. I also want to give a special thank you to Maybelline for flying me out there and giving me the opportunity to film with Nikki and of course with you guys of course and it was absolutely amazing. It was a one of the best trips ever. So my last point that I wanted to get on before I say goodbye is I told you guys that I was going to talk again about Gabby, which was another one of the winners from the Maybelline contest that she is here from Miami that we got to get pretty close, was that she was telling me how she, we both have a lot in common because we both decided to quit our previous jobs to pursue our dreams. And we spoke into existence, is that how you say it? We spoke out to the universe and all you have to do is just ask and you shall receive and it's just all hard work and dedication and passion and you will get it you have to push yourself and you are going to get knocked down a couple times but all that matters is that you pick yourself up and you try 10 times harder like i said before i've entered a contest got sad but i told myself you know what there's going to be better things out there for me and that's exactly what happened she told herself last year actually that she was gonna get invited to the Anastasia party. She was gonna get invited and long and behold, she got invited to the party and she went and she looked absolutely stunning. That's just another example to give you guys. So me and her have that in common where we talked about it of how it really is important to just speak out into the universe and send out good things and the universe will respond with just as good things back to you if that makes absolutely any sense. I hope I'm making sense, but you guys get it. Believe in yourself, believe in your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't bust your ass and I promise you, your hard work will never go unnoticed. Also, sorry for taking so long. I will never ever take four weeks to film again to upload for you guys. That will never happen. We are about to enter October. Halloween so I'm really excited to do Halloween looks as well I already have my ideas I don't want to tell you yet but each week I will be doing a different type of theme so that's really exciting I can't wait to start on my first week which I think is going to end up being my favorite so my first week is going to be kind of like an affordable Halloween looks because also I don't have all that money to buy all these extravagant props and stuff so it's going to be basically based off makeup off anything that you basically already have and yeah I'm going to work with that you guys are going to absolutely love it like I feel it if you guys haven't already make sure to follow me on all of my social medias I will be leaving them probably up here or I always leave them down below for you guys and if you guys also want to check out more pictures from my trip feel free to follow me on my Instagram and on my Twitter I always am always on there I love Twitter so yeah guys also make sure to hit on that beautiful subscribe button before you go and the bell right next to it that will notify you every single time that I upload I forgot how to end a video I'm so rusty you guys I'm so rusty. I forgot what it is to film in front of a camera and say goodbye. Sayonara. Ciao, ciao. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys next time. I love ya. Mwah.